Well, it wasn't a direct path for me to the law. I grew up in uh, Detroit and in, a fa in my family growing up, if something was broke, my dad would hand us a screwdriver and say, fix it. And in those days, you actually could fix everything with a screwdriver. Uh, so that the logical path for me was to become an engineer, which I did. And I started my career working for General Motors. And I had the opportunity there to work on the airbag program and Chevy's electric car in the 80s. And what I learned from that experience is that you could have a great technical technological advancement, but if law and policymakers weren't with you on it, that might never see the light of day. And in a certain way, I, 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 I believe that law was a universal screwdriver. And so that led me to the University of Michigan Law School. Well, you know, I remember one day sitting in a meeting and uh, an R&D meeting, we were talking about next generation products. And I made a recommendation for a combination product, which they took seriously. And for a lawyer geek who loves science, that's about as, as good as it get, gets. But, you know, translating science into legal concepts can be really difficult. So, for instance, explaining uh, uh, prior art to someone on a jury in a patent lawsuit or regulatory discussions to an investor in a financing. Or imagine drafting a contract for a joint venture when you're trying to allocate ownership of technology that hasn't even been invented yet. So practicing law in a biotech world means you have to be really comfortable with the unknown and you have to have the courage to make decisions in, in that context. And then you can course correct when the landscape sort of reveals itself over time. So when you get to come to, to the office and work with smart people, do original thinking and take something from the potential into the, into the actual, that's a great day at work. Um, and at the end of the day at Flagship, and this is what I love about this industry, but particularly the work that Flagship is doing, if you're successful, you're gonna change individual lives for the better. Well, I'm a big fan of the outdoors. I'm a four seasons outside person. I, I run, I hike, I cycle, I ski. I have done more than one conference call, uh, Nordic skiing in the woods of Maine, I have to admit. And uh, my dog and I have been hiking the, the Maine 4,000 footers to, to make COVID a little less, feel a little less, less restrictive. The other thing is I've co-opted my kids into my love of musical theater. So yeah, on, on a, a beautiful weekend for me is going to the theater, eating good food, and then taking a walk with my boys. That's the trifecta.